Hello everybody and welcome to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me as I do another base game build for The Sims 4. So I'm doing a small series of builds in using only the base game of The Sims 4 because I know that after the generous offer from The Sims team to allow people to get their hands on The Sims 4 base game for free, which happened in late May, of this year that a lot of you guys got your hands on the game and are like, what do I do now? And so I wanted to provide you with some houses in the gallery that you could download and put into your game. This one is an unfurnished cottage. It's kind of based off a picture I found on Google. And I did try to do the second floor without doing a second floor to give me the right roof angles. And I struggled. You will see that throughout this. So just a fair warning, it is designed really as a one story house. However, if you wanna play it with two stories, you're, you're gonna to have to move the roof in order to decorate the second story. Otherwise, your Sims should be able to navigate it just fine. You just won't be able to because the roof's in the way. You can also change the roof if you want to. You can change anything. I did not furnish this. I did provide plumbing and a kitchen and kind of lay it out so that you had an idea what I was envisioning. There is a bedroom and a bathroom on the first floor. There is a kitchen. There's plenty of room for a family room, plenty of room for an office. Uh, you could do whatever you want. You could theoretically make this a three bedroom house. Uh, you could make it a three bedroom, two bath. You could even just put a whole second story on it, change my roof line and you know do what you want. It is completely up to you. Uh, and it is in the gallery under Arson Girl. I think if you also look for hashtag Arson Girl, you should be able to find it. And, you know, the idea behind these are I use absolutely zero cheats. Uh, you may hear people talk about the move objects cheat in this game, which is a great way for a little bit more flexibility in placing things in your house. I did not use that. I wanted you to be able to download the house from the gallery exactly the way I designed it without having to worry about anything. And that's how it ended up being. And it's perfect. So... I really like the way it came out. I think it's spacious. If you do use the second floor, it would be perfect, a perfect home for, you know, a sim family or, you know, multiple adult sims living in the house. Whatever your flavor is, you can totally do that. I did not furnish this because I was trying to keep the price tag under 20,000 simoleons. However, I know that many Sims just start with 20,000 in their pocket and it's not always feasible for a brand new family to move in or a new Sim to move into a house uh, and the lot with that amount of money. But the idea I was thinking is you could come in and you could place this on one of your empty lots and then as your Sim gets a little money in the bank, it would be an affordable step up from maybe one of the small starter houses that they included with the game. And, you know, it's fairly easy to do. You can go into your game, you pick a lot, you click the little two Polaroid pictures up in the top right corner of the display. That'll take you into your gallery. You can go in and you can download this house. You can find other houses. There are a ton of choices out there for you to bring into your game but it is a really great way to get comfortable with different house styles and how people, like, you kind of get an idea of how people build them or how people decorate them by downloading other people's creations. And, because I know building is kind of a challenge for uh, new players sometimes. So, and you'll see here, I did do just a little bit of a yard. I kind of wanted it to be inviting and I had to, of course, include the white picket fence and I did the shrub fence as well. The whole idea was just to make it a nice, fun 
house that you could step into and do your own thing with. And I kind of, you know, kind of reminds me of something you might find in New England or Vermont or something. Anyway, I do hope you uh, get some ideas, some inspiration from this. If you place it on a larger lot, you can, of course, modify it any way you want. You could add a back porch. I only added a side door at this point, so the, the world is your oyster. Download it and do whatever you want to with it. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video though. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and do so. And then I encourage you to ring the bell because once you ring the bell, let YouTube know you'd like notifications when I post something new on the channel. And that way you don't miss out on anything coming down the line. I have more base game builds, more Sims 4, Sims Mobile, and of course other games that I check out and play as well. But I just am excited to have you here for the journey. And until the next time, have a great one.